Hey everyone, my name's Goldfire Prime, and welcome back to the show. So today what I have for you guys is a review on the Transformers animated sound wave, specifically the Sound Blaster repaint. So we're just going to call him uh, Sound Blaster in this video. And this was a figure that I got back in September of 2021 like uh, around the same month that I got and I think maybe the same day I don't, I don't really remember but it was like the same month I got the dark of the moon uh bumblebee and I also in that same month got this hunt for Decepticons jolt and in the flea market I found a animated uh, slug, and yeah, it was like a really great month for me in Transformers, and yeah, so onto the actual figure itself, he's not actually made of black plastic like I would have wanted, but I guess this... My camera cannot focus. Like, I don't think it could handle, like, the certain colors of this. Because I know if I hold other Transform figures, it wouldn't do this shit. But anyways... Yeah, so... He's made out of, like, this gray, bluish kind of plastic. And he has... Red transparent plastic for the windshield and the windows all throughout. Except on the back. And you do got some red paint apps all around the alt mode. And got some on the hood too. And you also got a gold Decepticon logo. And you got like red circles on the wheels. And that really makes it look futuristic. Because in Transformers Animated, it actually did. The show actually did took place in the future. So, they get to, like, kind of have a bit of Cybertronian looking alt modes. Which was really nice. Really like that. And you got some transparent red, uh, what's it called? Headlights. Headlights. I can't believe I forgot that. I missed it back when Transformers did this where the headlights are actually made of a separate piece of plastic that's usually molded in clear plastic. And now it's just, like, painted or... They don't even, like, bother at all. And you got some play buttons, too. And, like, the vehicle mode. Like a lot of old Transformer figures, I like how solid it feels. It feels all nice and heavy. It's a nice, solid brick. And I missed it when Transformers were like that. Now they're, like, kind of bull crap. I know I keep on, like, mm, bashing over Monday Transformers. Because... Don't get me wrong, there are some good ones. Like, but, yeah. So, he does... Oh, I can't believe I was about to say for transformation. Well, first off, he does roll really well. And, yeah. So, now we get on to the transformation. So, the first thing you want to do... Is you untap the arms like so. Ugh. Why can't my camera just... Oh, sorry to hurt you, Soundwave. Or Soundblast, or whatever your name is. Why can't my camera just, like, focus? So, anyways. What you want to do is pretty much untap everything. Like, ugh. yeah, this transformation is a bit tricky. So, yeah, you try to take out the arms. There you go. Now we're getting somewhere. Ugh. Come on. Alright, so you untie the arms, and they make, like, this really ugly click that I don't like. And then you flail them outwards, like so, and then you bring the wheels forward. And then you straighten out the arms. 
fold out the hands like so and there is like a little peg right there to give you leverage and then you get this entire panel and you you flip it upwards like so like the joints on mine are like way too tight and you kind of click in the place and then you fold this up like so that will be the chest and then you bring out the head like so and now we get on to the leg so you want to tap them from the back of the alt mode and then you spread them apart like so and now you get the front of the alt mode and you fold it and those will become his shins and then you bring the legs out like so and you spin them around and you also fold down the feet and then you spin the waist around like so and here you have Transformers animated sound blaster in his robot mode and the robot mode like a lot of Transformers animated figures, is very animation accurate. And I really, really like that. I mean, although I only got like two Transformers animated figures, sadly, and they're like the ones that not many people care about, they're still really awesome to have and how well engineered they are. So, let's get on to detail. So Sound Blaster, he does have a really nice head sculpt that looks exactly like the show. And the head, uh, at least, like, this part right here that's supposed to be, like, the visor, it's all clear plastic. Like, the visor and, like, the top of his head. And they had like painted the gray. And the rest of it besides the back of the head. Is like made out of gray plastic. And they painted like this purplish kind of color on the face plates. And yeah with clear plastic clear plastic he does have light piping. Though not much light goes through. But still, at least you know that you got it. And, oh. and like the chest part of it is made of clear plastic. Not the entire thing. No, just part of it. And that's supposed to resemble like the screen that Soundwave has on his chest. And you got a gold Decepticon logo and... A gold line on the outside which is like gold border yeah that's what we'll call it and if you look inside you'll see that there's some molding detail right there and that that's really nice and of course you got some play buttons too and they're painted the same color as his faceplate and the arms, although this is accurate to the show, how Transformers animated had odd proportions. Like, I don't really like how his arms are all, like, really long. And also how his hands are just flat. So, it, it, it kind of makes him look a bit awkward. I um, mean, I guess if Cybertron had a uh, slap fight championship... Soundwave will be the Wolverine of Cybertronian slap fights. <laughs> and for those who uh, watch slap fight, you'll know what I'm talking about.
and you do got some of that purple paint on the feet as well and you got some red lines that are like painted and on the back of the figure not much he does have like this big backpack but I'm pretty sure that too is accurate to the cartoon and yeah I like how like everything just feels solid how this figure it doesn't feel like it's a robot that's like hiding inside a car no 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 parts of it actually become the robot which is really nice that's the kind of engineering that you'll get in G1 but in a good way and now we get on to articulation so he does have a swivel on the arm and you do got a bit of like a hinge and like another one but that's for those are for transformation and if you use that the head will go up so don't and you do got a hinge on the elbow and you also got a ball joint on the elbow and i think you also got a swivel on the elbow as well so it kind of acts like a wrist swivel because like the hands they don't really do nothing they just flap up and down i guess you could call that articulation but i wouldn't and the head does absolutely oh wait actually it does swivel around hmm because for the longest time i thought the head was all fixed the head did not do anything, but turns out it does. I just made really great discovery. Give myself a pat on the back. And you got a swivel on the waist. Ball joint on the hips. Ball joint on the knee. And I guess up and down on the ankle. And yeah, the articulation, it, it's alright. For a transform that's like really uh, blocky. So, I mean, you wouldn't, even if it did have all the joints that you would want, he wouldn't really have much clearance to utilize them. So, I guess this is fair enough. Now we get on to some size comparison. So, here he is next to Transformers Animated Slug. And they're about the same height, being shorter deluxes. Now, I say shorter instead of smaller because they do have the mass that an average scale deluxe would have. It's just they're a bit shorter. And, like, I'm kind of noticing that with a lot of animated figures. Well, at least the ones that I have. But, yeah, maybe the upper uh, ones like Bumblebee... Or Prowl are a lot bigger. So, hmm. And here he is next to Hunt for the Decepticons. Jolt. Which was another figure that I got in the same month. And yeah, this is what an average deluxe at the time would be compared to a Transformers animated figure. Which did came out in like the same like decade and era of transformer toys and engineering wise and yeah jolt he's a bit taller and the reason why i'm never really reviewing jolt is because this guy he was bought used and he didn't he doesn't have his feet and it just feels wrong just reviewing a transformer like i did like this i did give him some but they're made of like lego so yeah. Anyways, what are my final thoughts on Transformers Animated Sound Blaster? Well, I think he's a really, really nice figure. And I do recommend him. So, yeah. That's it for this video. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my new videos. And you can follow me on Instagram, same name, Goldfire Prime. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.